Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to talk about something and show you a couple of tips and maybe one different way for you to wear something this year for your Raya. This is how I like my something to look like and it's called the Fajar Minion Sing. So stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm going to give you like a full tutorial about it. What I like about this style is that it sort of defines a line through my body from my chest all the way to my knee so that it gives me the illusion that I'm a bit taller than I am. But first, let's go through some of the tips for you to follow whenever you put on your something for Raya this year. So, a lot of people put on their song kit by sticking their feet into the song kit, like so. You're not supposed to do that because the song kit kind of sweeps the floor. Instead, what you're supposed to do is you insert your hands into them and then roll it over your body and align it as per the way that you should. If you find that your something flares upwards and it doesn't look neat on your body, keep your knees and your ankles close together as possible. If you keep your knees and your ankles close together, then you're going to end up with a something that really hugs your body and your waist like really really tight and keep that streamlined look throughout the day. Sometimes I see something where the in piece sticks out and it's not really neat. So what you want to do is as you're tying your something, keep the in piece a little bit higher or raised and that will ensure that the inside piece does not stick out anytime during the day and as you're, wearing, as you're walking about. Identifying yourself whether you're the host uh, or the visitor. If you're the host, you're supposed to wear your something on the outside. Your baju melayu stays inside your something like so. If you are a visitor, this is how you're going to wear your something. And the previous one is called the dagang dalam and this is called the dagang luar. Identifying whether you are a single person or a married person. If you are a single person, your something length should be above your knee. And if you are a married person, then your sampin length should be lower than your knee. As a bonus, I'm going to teach you uh, my favorite style of sampin, which is called the Fajar Minyin Sing. Favorite style of sampin, which is called the Fajar Minyin Sing. So the first thing that you're going to do if you're going to tie a Fajar Minyin Sing is that uh, you're going to put the middle piece under your chin and hold it with your chin. And then fold the same way as you would fold a normal something. So always fold right over left, keeping everything tight and tidy. Smoothen out the, the pieces, smoothen out the top. And then start folding downwards. Always remember to fold um, and not roll uh, because folding tends to last longer. See, I'm not even done and it's already very tight. So if I just keep folding it downwards like that, it's going to make it even tighter and it's definitely going to stay for the rest of the day. Just one more fold and then I'm done. And there you have it, the Fajar Menin Singh. Before I end, I want to wish everyone out there a happy Hari Raya. Selamat Hari Raya, Ma'am Zahir Batin. Thanks again for watching. I'll be seeing you again in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.